All right, so good morning for those of you who are here on time. Thank you. Um, okay, I'm going to go over just a couple of quick things regarding uh, the first thing. I want to just thank Ryan. He doesn't know it yet. He may know it, but we had a Yelp five-star Yelp review oh. from Mary G. Oh, yeah. San Juan Capistrano. Oh. So each yeah, of those, definitely. that's our first one since I've asked anybody to get one. They all, you guys all said you could do it, but Ryan's the first one, and hopefully there'll be more to follow because we need to bring, bring that up. The closer we get to this website being completely done and everything, um, and, the, and the advertising starting, the more important that is. Um, I've been working with the advertising guys, and they're they're finalizing a few things. We had to put steam generators in there, which we hadn't had before. Um, so we're adding a few things in there, but pretty much all of the mistakes that they made, you know, in, in typing and whatever, all those have been fixed. So it's starting to look really good. Um, they've already been working on all of the SEO stuff and the Facebook attaching everything and uh, and the Yelp. So the Yelp is going to be really important for us to get five star reviews. Just continuing to try to get those as, as much as possible. There's a couch out here that was in Bryce's office. If anybody's interested, it needs to be gone by Friday. That is like two days away. I don't care how you get it out of here, but if not, it's going to be dumped. So it's a, I guess it's an IKEA thing, and <clears throat> Tina says that. It, even though it may have some stains on it or whatever, they're not really bad stains, but they, it's basically made to have a cover that goes over it, and there's Velcro on the bottom, and basically you can reorder those. They're really inexpensive, and it'll be a nice-looking caps if anybody wants it. A little upsy. Do plastic cover over it? Not plastic. Well, if you want plastic, <laughs> I know you wet your skin. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan still needs plastic. Yeah. All right, okay, yeah. <laughs> That extra black coffee that matches black soul. Yeah. <laughs> Catch him out. Okay. So, uh, again, introducing um, Raphael. He goes by Ralph. Um, he's going to be uh, an, an installer for us and also service uh, repair HVAC. He's been doing it for quite a long time, has a lot of experience. Um, so, you guys can welcome him. And um, the next thing is HIS licensing. I still have. Phil, Mike, Ryan, Raphael, Oscar, Jaweed, and Beatrice. Um, you know, Beatrice and Oscar still as being, you know, apprentices not really going out on their own. You guys have a little more time, but that's something that we do need to get going uh, and get on here. So if anybody still needs the information, I still have it, I, or another set of it, I can give that to you, but we have to get that done. So. Um, we do have quite a bit of work going on this morning, uh, a lot of it at HVAC installs, so we'll uh, get going on that. Kevin, you got anything that you want to talk to anybody about? Because I pretty much went over, um, we had a five-star review from Ryan, I talked about that. Awesome, good job, Ryan. Um, and uh, talked about the HIS and handed out, I got a few more things to hand out to people that just walked in, but anything you want to talk about? Um, did we let them know that Bryce is not here today? Yeah, Bryce is not here in, through Monday, so uh, I think through two, actually Tuesday of next week, so he's going to be gone. If you guys need anything, you know, as far as parts and stuff, obviously you're going to have to, you're not going to have someone to be able to run parts to you, um, but, you know, just if you need something else, you have to let me know and I'll do what I can to, you know, help you out. Okay, so don't be trying to call him because he's on on vacation. He'll be in Hawaii. Uh, I think that's it. Unless you have anything else. No, not really. Um, so this job where it, it just went from 12,000 to 19, because um, we're going to relocate the equipment into the attic. Yeah, I saw the email on that. So um, we're we got a lot of work in front of us. So. Okay. But that'll be a, a fun one, and it, it'll probably wind up as a, if we do our job right, um, another Yelp review. Um, this is a client that um, I think Sarah initially um, was probably one of the first people there. Um, left a very good impression. Um, we installed a tankless water heater there. Um, and she's she's she basically just said, where do I sign? Just, yeah, this, 
it's amazing how that works, you know, when, when you got a client who just loves you guys, you know, and has, has had a good experience. And there's no barriers for me as a channel that was uh, set up properly by Mike. Uh, I went out there and uh, turned the lead over properly. Um, you know, I spent time with her, um, walked through the system, gave her options, and she went for everything. And she didn't, she didn't even hesitate. Yeah. Uh, the email was pretty, you know, I mean, it was pretty, pretty simple, but it, sounded, it didn't sound like she was concerned about anything at all. She was just happy to have us come out and do the work, so yeah. that's good. All right, well, so that's, you know, ho hopefully um, everyone has, is starting to learn the channel process a little bit better. I know some of you have already done it, some of you haven't. But it's really, really important to, as the tech going out, to be able to pass, to, be, to build that relationship, to build some trust, uh, and get a second opinion out there every single time you can. Um, and that's the, the channel leader coming out, being that second opinion, validating what you've already said needs to be done, and then giving them options, and then letting the channel be the one who takes over from there and sells, because that's what Kevin's good at, that's what channels are good at. Um, so if it's, you know, and it doesn't, it, it doesn't always even necessarily have to be um, someone who's an expert in selling. If you've already set yourself up and kind of gotten that trust, that second person coming in and validating a lot of times is all it takes. You know, just validating the work and then, you know, that helps a lot, so. One other thing, um, I just, just want to let you guys know is I'm kind of transitioning into the field and stuff. It's um, one of the things that I get is constant feedback from customers. Um, and a lot of times it's, it's very construct, constructive criticism. Um, and um, so, and just the other day I was, I was on a job where a client, Luciano, left a very good impression with the customer. Um, we had sold her um, air conditioning in a furnace, I think, too, as well, over the years, and uh, she she went out of her way to stop me and say, hey, you know, um, you know, Luciano is just amazing. Um, I, I, I have such a high comfort level with him, and she just went on and on and on about his follow-up, uh, because there's a, a tank list and a water treatment um, kind of hanging out there, and she said, I, I, you know, I just wanted you to pass the message on how much I appreciate him. Um, you know, what a good job, what a, you know, and she complimented me constantly, like, how do you get these amazing employees and things like that, so it was really, really awesome feedback um, that we got from her, and she's right for a five-star five review, by the way, Luciana, it's a phone call, basically, and she'd do it, you know, um, right. so, um, but, you know, and she's, she's um, still considering uh, that work, she's just waiting on her tax returns to see where she's at this year, um, and, uh, so anyway, um, it was it was really uh, it's uplifting. I have to tell you, as an owner of the company, to see this kind of uh, response that I'm getting from homeowners. It's, it's been, for the most part, positive. And even even when they do have a complaint, it's usually um, it's usually to help me, uh, you know, say, hey, Kevin, you know, because they care about our company and and they're giving me constructive criticism. You know, you should try this. You should do that. You know, so it's 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 really been a win-win all the way around. So anyway, good job, everybody. I appreciate all your effort. All right. So uh, I'm sure Kevin's going to look at the board, make sure that we have everyone where he wants them, and let's get out there, make some money, and keep doing what we're doing. All right, guys. Um, by the way, tomorrow I will not be here. I have a, an appointment down in La Jolla, which I couldn't get any earlier than what I did. So it makes no sense for me to drive up here for like an hour or two. But um, I'll be available on my phone if you need me for most of the day.